Before the episode, folks, an important disclaimer. The fund manager, relative or associate may have financial interest in the subject company. The fund manager, relative, associate or alchemy may have an actual or beneficial ownership of 1% or long short positions in the subject security securities for himself or for the clients. The fund manager or associate may have received compensation or other benefit in the subject security or securities. The discussion shall not be relied upon as advisory or decisions to buy or sell any securities. So folks, please keep that disclaimer in mind. At the beginning of the bull cycle in 2003, mm. and I'll just talk about real estate, it's very instructive about other sectors. The, mm. the, the, the weightage in the top 800 companies mm. was zero. In the market cap. Okay. okay. Zero. There was no, almost there nothing. Was nothing. Yeah, there, there was, was nothing. nothing. Yeah, it didn't exist. By the end of that cycle, 2008 peak huh. of the market, huh. the weight had gone up to 6.9% of wow. the top 800 companies, full market cap. Ka, because of DLF, Unitech, yeah, all yeah, these, yeah. you know, great yeah. companies. JP, VP, JP, VP, 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 all of that, right? From a peak of 6.9%, by 2019, hmm. the weight went down to 0. 0.6. So, 20, almost 20 years back to what it used to be for something as basic as housing. Which, yes. Okay. okay. Wow, estate. I didn't know that. Okay. Or ab 0. 0.6 ka, huh. we were looking at the numbers just as of very recently. We have just gone back to 1.8. Not now, even, just imagine yeah, if yeah, India yeah. is going to be a 10 trillion economy, yeah, yeah, market yeah. cap is going to be 10 trillion, so much wealth has been created. Hmm. Is cycle mein to, it can definitely go above the previous peak of 6.8%. With newer players also. There are some and now can, you have yeah, yeah. Rera ho gaya hai, you have all organized, the industry has consolidated and you can see it. And you can choose from whatever you want. You've yeah. got large, mid, right small, Right from DLF yeah, yeah, yeah. all the way down. Folks, welcome to Paisa Paisa. I'm your host Anupam Gupta, B50 on Twitter. And on today's episode, I'm thrilled, really thrilled to welcome back Hiren Vith, Director and CIO, Alchemy Capital Management on our show, this time in person. We will be talking about outlook for equities, sectors, themes, bull markets, corrections, and much more. Hiren, welcome to Paisa Paisa. It is great to have you in the studio after that online recording we did during the second wave. So welcome and thank you for doing this for our listeners. Thank you, Anupam, for having me on this show. I enjoyed the first one. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so looking forward to yeah. interacting with you on the second one. I'm missing the printing of the bulls because <laughs> that was from your office and folks, um, you know, go back into the archives and just check it out. I think it was somewhere in April 2021. We had done this online recording. Hiren was at his heritage building, beautiful building and there's a nice painting of the bulls that you can see in that frame. Tell us about that painting. We were just talking about it be before the recording. Yeah, so when the office was being done, right, and... Uh, so my partner, uh, he he loves art. He also understands art. So we were thinking, you know, what should we uh, put there? Uh, we should put a night's nice painting because it is a big wall yeah. that we have. Right? And then he said, why not put Partho Datta? Because Partho Datta, is a, he, he does charcoal painting. And his bulls mm. are very famous. And it has a great connotation for in a, in a, in in our business, right? Uh, whether you are a course. bullish, you are a bull yeah. on the market. So I has have that painting <laughs> behind me with two roaring bulls nice. behind me, right? Yeah. And I don't think either of us wants to be a top of the market indicator. Talking <laughs> about bulls right now, given where we are in the so stock just market. Because you know, uh, <laughs> uh, on an interesting note, so I also have a bear huh. in my office. But usko ek corner mein rakh diya hai. <laughs> Do you interchange positions depending on the nifty? Or <laughs> but here, two and a half years ago, okay, um, when we had, yeah, that was the end of the second wave, a particularly rough period for all of us. Yes. In in India, in the world. We had done an online recording and at that time, the nifty was 17,370. It was up 60% then, huh, over the previous year. Right. Obviously, because you're coming out of that whole lockdown thing. Yes. So, I think kuch bara ka 17,378. And here we are now. This is 10th April 2024 when this recording is happening. I think today itself, the Nifty was another all-time high of about 22,700. So, from when we recorded two and a half years ago to now, we are plus 30% for Nifty, plus 
45 परसेंट फॉर स्मॉल कैप एंड प्लस 67 परसेंट फॉर मिड कैप अभी ये तो हो गया है अभी गोइंग फॉरवर्ड प्लीज आई मीन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मेक सेंस ऑफ वॉट हैज हैपन चलो वो तो हो गया एनी बडी हुज लिसिंग नाउ वॉन्ट्स टू नो यूर व्यू एज टू वॉट लाइज अ हेड वेदर इट्स इकोनॉमी वेदर इट्स मार्केट बिग पिक्चर वॉट एवर इट इज सो अनुपम आई मीन यू नो यू आस्क अ मार्केट गाय वॉट डू यू थिंक ही इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी बुलिश बट what i want i i know you said ke ye ho gaya this is all done but i want to set the context right because i think currently there is a overwhelming uh concern people have that markets are overvalued especially small and mid caps have run up too much and everybody is trying to find reasons uh to be cautious right now look in investing you should always be prudent you should always have one eye on the risks but you don't look for trouble hmm. right i mean this is what i think is like people looking looking out for trouble to put it in one line i am extremely bullish on the economy hmm. and the markets does that mean things can't go wrong they can coming to your point we spoke in 21 but i want to set a context right so the high of the nifty just before covid hit was 12200 roughly yeah right yeah. today 4 years out right 4 uh, plus years now because that was february we are now already roughly. in april but yeah. roughly 4 years yeah. out yeah. nifty has not even doubled we are not even 24 we are 22700 or whatever we are still not doubled but if i tell you that nifty profits if you take the top 50 companies and if i add up the net profits of the top 50 companies as of march 2020 hmm. it was about 3 lakh crores okay. i'm just rounding it off yeah, for yeah. simplicity yeah and now the fourth quarter results are out but we have the numbers for the first 9 months may simply usko annualize kar do yep, yep. up to march 24 it would be somewhere in the region of 7 to 8 lakh crores wow okay so 3 just pure annualizing yeah i wow. mean well i'm just guessing one quarter's numbers because first 9 months to is already in It's the already bag in, right and yeah, usually yeah. in india the fourth quarter is the best is quarter is the best quarter correct right? yeah तो अगर यदि मैं पहले छः महीने का ही लेके उसको एनुअलाइज कर दूं या फर्स्ट नाइन मंथ्स लेके उसको डिवाइड बाय थ्री इंटू फोर कर दूं विच एवर वे आई एम सेइंग द नंबर विल लैंड समवेयर इन द रीजन ऑफ सेवन सेवन एंड हाफ लैख करोड्स मोर देन डबल मोर देन डबल वाइल योर निफ्टी हैज नॉट इवन डबल्ड ओके बट मोर इंटरेस्टिंगली सिंस पीपल मैंशन मिड एंड स्मॉल कैप्स इफ आई टेक द the same number for the top 500 companies then the number was 3 lakh 60000 crores what it means is 3 lakh crore agar was for the top 50 means the next 450 companies everything put together was only 60000 crores <laughs> right i didn't know that are you serious yes okay, okay. so lopsided huh. was the numbers at that time in favor of the top larger companies that number in march 2024 if i take all the 500 companies that number again annualizing doing the same math we will land up at 13 and a half to 14 lakh crores so that's a 10 have it you, you have not missed it no okay. the, the numbers are 60000 so uh. so 3 going to 7 or 7 and a half yeah 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 but that 60000 the next 450 companies uh. going from 60000 crores to 7 lakh crores oh, that's mind boggling it's a 10x so. pardon my saying but i find it extremely amusing hmm. when people rationalize by saying okay by what measure do you say that the markets are expensive and the measure they use is that if you look at the average 10 year pe that's a favorite yeah okay yeah. and you compare today then they will say nifty is trading at a 12 or 15% premium, premium to yeah. the last 10 year average hmm. 
and the mid caps are trading at some 20% premium to last 10 year average okay to me this is like the sikka of amita bachchan in shole okay ki heads dono side pe heads hi hai hmm aapne p to bol diya ab main in sab mahanubhavon ko strategist and i'm shocked sometimes even very senior fund managers also fall into this trap okay and say that nifty is trading at a premium to its 10 year average hmm. i say please bring another side of the coin earnings if you look at earnings from 2010 to 2020 humne to 2020 ke baad Correct. ki earnings ki baat ki yeah. if you take the a decade before that the average earnings growth in that 10 year period was 6% hmm wow just 6% inflation or plus or whatever yeah. no we didn't our earnings didn't even keep pace with nominal gdp growth oh yeah क्योंकि रियल जीडीपी प्लस इन्फ्लेशन होता है नॉमिनल जीडीपी ग्रोथ छह टका तो अपना नॉर्मल रियल जीडीपी ग्रोथ था योर राइट योर राइट योर राइट योर राइट सो पीपल फॉरगेट सो नाउ इफ आई आस्क देम अ क्वेश्चन माय डियर फ्रेंड इफ निफ्टी अर्निंग्स हैव कंपाउंडेड एट ट्वेंटी फाइव इन दीज फोर ईयर्स वर्सेज सिक्स और सेवन इन द प्रीवियस टेन ईयर्स isn't earnings at a premium to last 10 years yeah then can't markets trade at a premium to last 10 years Absolutely. but nobody talks about next time somebody tells you this please ask them a question yes i agree nifty is trading at a premium to last 10 years hmm. but please tell me what was the average earnings growth in the last 10 years nobody has a clue yeah no i didn't know this myself you're right right and therefore i am not fearful as most people are having said that as i said that in markets you never know like did we know covid is going to happen we did not yeah, yeah. right did we know the russia ukraine war is going to happen we did not so things can disrupt today oil is already at 90 if oil goes to 110 will that disrupt yes it will disrupt earnings for a while and then the markets may correct or it may go sideways but as things stand today the reason that people give i don't take that sure. so i continue to be very bullish both on the economy and on the markets and i also want to come here on the economy bit Please. right yeah of course though generally speaking we tend to equate economy with markets but actually markets ka correlation is more with earnings than the gdp growth hmm. jaise maine aapko bataya ki 2010 se 2020 agar nominal gdp growth 12 taka hua hmm. earnings to sirf 6 taka hua correct और इस बार कोई जीडीपी 25 टका से कंपाउंड नहीं हुई है इनफैक्ट yep. उसमें तो बीच में दो साल कोविड के हैं yep. yep. तो वी हैव जस्ट क्रॉस द प्री कोविड जीडीपी हाई सो दीज आर टू सेपरेट थिंग्स बट हैविंग सेड दैट आई आल्सो वांट टू ब्रिंग दिस टू द अटेंशन दैट फॉर द लास्ट टू कंजर्वेटिव क्वार्टर्स ओके एंड सी जी इज अ फिगर विच इज जनरली सपोज टू बी वेरी वेल रिसर्च देर आर सो मेनी इकोनॉमिस who predict ki next quarter gdp kya hoga is saal gdp kya hoga government ka ek estimate hota hai rbi ka ek estimate hota hai acha wo chodo ye to aap bologe ye to government ke control mein hai world bank apna estimate deta hai yeah. uh, you know there are global research agencies who also give their estimate snp apna estimate deta hai the fact of the matter is in the last two quarters India's GDP has surprised our own estimates correct and definitely everybody else who's tried to predict yeah so if i use the stock market language when a company surprises on earnings hmm. right it's a big thing yeah people to apan ne newspaper mein ek do din bol diya you know theek hai politicians will take credit for it all good whatever what i'm trying to say is that two quarters of back to back gdp surprise is telling you something that we are underestimating 
the growth pickup in our economy very interesting i mean the small and mid cap number just stares at you and we've only seen caution out there there have been people senior people who've commented on valuations of small and mid cap and i do world. another on on the same point yeah, yeah. not belaboring it too much but you know uh, when the calendar year ends uh, all the channel guys call us so called as experts yeah. i i hate being called one Still, but yeah. ki kya lagta hai abhi you know 23 is over what do you think of 24 what is the prognosis right and the same thing happened everybody took out calendar 23 year turns same thing i think nifty was up 21% it was correct uh, the mid cap index was up uh, 45 and the small cap index was up 55 or something whatever number yeah right yeah. so i told my colleagues and see fortunately i've been in the markets from 91 so i have seen these cycles and we started alchemy in 2002 so i distinctly remember the bull market of 2003 to 2007 was a ferocious market yeah massive and people only bought into that bull run only by the end of 2006 2007 right there was a lot of skepticism because the previous 4 5 years were so painful after the tech bust now i if you look at it, it's very in- interesting that if i were to show you so so people have these three numbers for 2023 nifty up this much mid cap up small Correct. cap up small right? cap up yeah if i show them the number of 2003 calendar right right it was up 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 then if i tell them okay now predict what 2004 could be most of them would have said oh it's huge double digit numbers maybe it's a little lower yeah. maybe it won't be th- that great okay 2004 was equally strong correct people said now two back to back years 2005 was equally strong yeah 2006 was equally strong and 2007 was equally strong you had four years of back to back massive double digit gains in nifty mid cap and small cap yeah. now i am not saying because it happened it should happen correct but i am also saying that aisa bhi hota hai so just because one year you saw strong returns right doesn't mean next year it has to be bad yeah, yeah i mean you know people generally don't want to be seen to be very brash in yeah. our industry and i can understand that yeah. that you have to but it became almost fashionable to be cautious <laughs> okay uh let's move to the big event Yes. We are here in April. I think in some time mm-hmm. now the elections will start and the results will be out on Tuesday, June the fourth. Now, I mean, I don't want to go into a discussion of politics and all, but yeah. still, your view because I think for a lot of people this is going to be seen as a fairly large event. Happens once in five years. Yeah. The last time this happened was in 2019. The markets were a very different animal at that point of time. You didn't yeah. have SIP numbers of 19,000 crores per month happening then. You are having it now. Yeah. The Nifty wasn't where it was then, and now you know the. What I'm trying to say is the stakes are higher. Yes. Okay. So therefore, how are you approaching it? What are your thoughts? You know, a lot depends on what the general expectation is, and I think this time the general expectation is that obviously this government is going to come back. Yep. Now this has got even more interesting this time because the prime minister of this country has gone on the floor of the house. and to again use the stock market language given a forward guidance oh yeah 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 he's telling pi yeah, you're right you're 370 right. Yeah. bjp 400 nda yeah kisi yeah. prime minister ne yeah. floor of the house pe precise number nahi diye correct and knowing him and it's quite a bold thing to do but i'm sure he's they're very confident for them to give this number hmm or conspiracy theorists may say that you know by giving this numbers you are already putting a big doubt into the opposition ki yaar matlab koi scope hi nahi bacha hamare liye hmm. right but coming to markets this is not about politics coming to markets somewhere because this number has been thrown markets have a habit of discounting things right so pretty much it is expected that they will win with a big victory 
but there is always that little uncertainty you never 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 know correct right and i again remember this very painfully because in 2009 the circuit days yeah the overwhelming thinking was ki kuch khichdi government aayega uh you know and and those were just the aftermath of the global financial crisis and people were fretting ki agar aisa कोयलेशन टाइप गवर्नमेंट आएगा इनको कुछ समझ भी है कि नहीं इकोनॉमी की मतलब ये क्या करेंगे ये लोग जबकि पूरी दुनिया स्टिम्यूलेट कर रही है इकोनॉमी को गवर्नमेंट्स आर इंटरवीनिंग विल वी हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग विजन एंड लीडरशिप टू डू समथिंग अबाउट दिस द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर वॉज दैट द कांग्रेस केम एंड द मार्केट हिट सर्ट सर्किट ट्वेंटी परसेंट राइट सो आई वुड से दैट इफ इफ समथिंग and the probability is very very low hmm. but let's say they don't get a majority or something like that hmm. Hmm. right then you may see a very significant fall fall yeah but the probability is very low sure having said that my view is that well the market's already showing that it's 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 at a new high going into elections yes. right so some of that will be discounted well in advance but an event of like that is an event right so number of seats plus secondly he has also in his, the government has indicated the prime minister himself has indicated that he is going to take very bold yeah decisions yeah. he said it in black and white actually he said it in black yeah. and white right yeah. which means there will be a massive anticipation yeah. even after they win going into the budget ki क्या कर लेंगे फर्स्ट हंड्रेड डेज वट एवर दैट नंबर राइट नाउ द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज यू कैन इंटरप्रेट इट इन योर वे बिकॉज इफ यू आर यू नो आई एम अ स्टॉक मार्केट गाय आई विल कीप थिंकिंग फ्रॉम माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्या रिफॉर्म कर देंगे क्या बड़ा हो जाएगा राइट वेरी एक्साइटेड समबडी एल्स मे थिंक फ्रॉम हिज पॉइंट ऑफ हर और हर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो आई थिंक दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ रीजनेबल अमाउंट ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म एक्साइटमेंट going into up to the first uh, up to the budget hmm. and after that all the kind of you know the 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 beans will be spilled so to say yeah and maybe after that the market goes into some kind of a consolidation mode because all the anticipation all the good news all the big announcements positive triggers ho gaye everything is done right? yeah. yeah and then we maybe the next we, round yeah maybe we you never know yeah. maybe that is a time when the market really pauses sure. or corrects or goes into a consolidation sure so last question hiren sap numbers of course like i was just saying have held up really well yes you have a fairly large pms and af yes. product yes what's been the trends there um especially in these last four years like you know ab ho gaya lockdown usko 4 saal ho gaye yeah here we are right now so any trends any changes any interesting things you've seen uh, the pms and af desks so i think we see a steady inflow of money usually when you have a very strong year there is a tendency to book profits ahead of a event like this uh luckily we haven't seen too much of it at least i can speak for ourselves right and that's also because we are very painfully जो मैं आपको अभी बता रहा हूँ वी हैव विथ अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा एक्सेट्रा आई डू अ मंथली वीडियो फॉर माई इन्वेस्टर्स वी बिन कंसिस्टेंटली टेलिंग दैम दैट लुक डोंट गेट ऑफ द हॉर्स राइट एंड दिस इज अगेन वी से आउट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस दैट वी रियली डिलीवर्ड फैंटेस्टिक रिटर्न फॉर आर इन्वेस्टर्स फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टू थ्री टू टू थाउजेंड सेवन एट बुल मार्केट बिकॉज वी बिलीव्ड इन दैट बुल मार्केट we never got off the horse as i say correct the horse may gallop yeah and sometimes it may trot trot yeah but don't get off the horse and we've been communicating this to our investors so at least they haven't gone ahead and said ki mujhe profit book karna hai sure. so so we are fully invested we are fully committed to this bull market hmm. and uh, we've got steady flows here and like we did in the first half about setting the context let's set the context for sectors themes plays etc etc um here we are in 2024 you know when you look at small and mid caps we've already spoken about that in detail then there's stuff like 
PSUs and railways and all suddenly were out of nowhere. Again, here you could say that the prime minister set some contacts on the floor of the house. He said certain things. Market got excited. So when you look at these themes, and you'll remember from 20 years ago, every time PSU ka theme aata tha, it would be met with skepticism. Yes. Yes. Thik hai. Ye yes. Ek saal ka hai, chhay mahine ka hai. Right. Jisko paisa banana ka hai, banao boss. Isme to kuch jada hone wala hai nahi. Right. Okay. Because PSU banks were the best example. Okay, yes. PSU versus private used to be a trade where you could not go wrong for ages. Yes. And yet people who played that trade now are, you know. So let's set the context here on these, you know, pockets of um, sectors and themes that you found interesting. And then let's go into what you find interesting going forward. You start with, you know, PSUs or railways or anything. Yeah, I think more than just PSUs or railways. I mean, obviously PSU will be a large part of it. But, you know, one other experience that I've had being in the markets for 30 odd years and what we have observed is that uh, every bull market has a new leadership, right? Very seldom do you see that the leaders of the previous bull market also lead in the next bull market. And what I mean by that is, again, because data is available, uh, only very recently, I mean, from 2003 onwards only, yeah. 2002, three onwards. So that bull market, 2003 to 2007, was a very domestic, cyclical, capex kind of driven bull market. Yeah. So sectors like capital goods, real estate, infrastructure, hotels, you know, all your capital intensive domestic cyclicals, autos, auto ancillaries, PSUs did phenomenally well. Okay. And the banks and the consumer companies didn't do that great. Right? Even IT, because IT ka boom ho chuka tha 2000 and in the yep. post aftermath, they were just languishing. So that was a roaring bull market. It was a debt-fueled, capex-driven global expansion and these sectors did phenomenally well. Sure. Then came 2008 which interrupted this bull market. So there was a deep bear market yep. and then 2009 there was a recovery and 10 onwards the new cycle started. And that cycle 2010 up to 2019 20, pre-COVID yep. you know that cycle the leadership flipped. Changed completely. Yeah. Right. You had the private banks, NBFCs, consumer f franchises, your Asian Paints and Page and, yeah. you know, Levers and Nestle's of the world, all of that did phenomenally well, right? IT services came back and nobody cared about infrastructure, capital goods, autos, real estate to purai mar gaya, right? And a lot of companies even vanished. Mm. They mm. were all, and some of them were the good and great, which were part of the Sensex at that time. Yeah. JP, Reliance Communication, uh, you know, Suzlon became a yeah. penny stock, yeah. right? Yeah. Which were all the darlings of the previous bull cycle. Yeah. Got des Most of them got decimated. Correct, correct. And others just languished doing nowhere. Your metals, yeah. right? And all these so-called high ROE, high cash flow, high quality, did extremely well. Yeah. And they are P's, you know, very good franchises like Lever, Nestle, which we used to never blink an eye because they would trade at 35, 40 times. By the time of the cycle ending in 2019, 20, they were all at 50, 60, 70 times. And taken for granted. And taken for granted, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Now comes the COVID bear market and the recovery. So, pehle to, I think... 2021 to people couldn't understand ki kya ho hai because we've never seen an event like COVID, yes, right? Yes, yes. So yes, some yes. businesses like pharma did very well initially and and what happens is that when something has been doing well for a long time and then you have a sudden correction. Sharp one, yeah. There is a reflexive action. Yeah. Ki, company hai, ye to apne ko achhe price mein mil rahi hai because there is a deep correction. You go and buy that. Correct. Right? That's a reflexive action. But come 21, 22, suddenly, 
while these stocks did bounce back because of the reflexive action the leadership was somewhere yeah, else yeah yeah okay and in 22 your psu banks adani stocks and lot of other so called cyclical oriented sectors did phenomenally well yeah. and obviously the leaders were the psu banks right and so i remember that was a year 22 calendar right and and obviously 22 mein kya hua tha the russia ukraine war happened so hmm. you know all quality stocks who usually use commodities as inputs hmm. they got whacked because your commodity costs went, went up, up yeah. oil yeah. prices went up supply chain costs went up and there was a squeeze on the margin so their profitability took a hit and 22 was also the year when fed started to raise rates aggressively Tightening so all these high pe stocks inadvertently had pe contraction because if interest rates are going up then pe's yeah. have to fall yeah. so you had a double whammy in 22 in quality growth stocks and i think everybody rationalized saying yeah but you know we own quality stocks all the quality stocks have not done well we don't buy psus we don't buy adani hmm. and that is why we underperformed and i am not saying i am holier yeah, than thou i was also in the yeah. same boat yeah. okay but the wise men of the markets have also taught us that don't have a close mind right the markets the collective wisdom of the market is very very powerful and then we really started to think hard and then we looked at the numbers earnings numbers stock price performance sector performance and we realized that no we are missing something hmm. Hmm. and we said that you know uh, we forgotten our lesson of history that new bull market new leadership so it can't happen that and then as you rightly said everybody thought that psu is like a one year trade you know this is all very cyclical ye hoga sustain hoga nahi hoga kisko pata who knows right but the fact of the matter is that not only were they cheap uh, and that's a a good uh, you know that's a good thing because the starting point is that yeah. if you are cheap at the starting point before something revives uh, it's all the more great yeah. but i think the way this government has cleaned up the psus improved the governance standards literally given them targets like private sector and also delivered and mm. then all their policies which were focused on make in india import substitution right china plus 1 everything helped sure sure right so i think that we are back to the 2003 to 2007 bull like bull market the same sectors yeah so if i now go back and look at my portfolios that i had built in 2002 2, 3 so i had all these stocks like the capital goods companies you know abb siemens uh, indian hotels um uh, you know every infrastructure company that you can think of we made money hmm. larson all of that right they are all coming back okay and the darlings of the previous bull market your private banks hmm. which everybody has been so eloquently rationalizing has underperformed yeah that's right in fact it's very interesting if you look at f the 23 24 financial year and you know nse has a lot of now small small sectors uh, 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 indices yeah. the top 5 performing in indexes first one is the nse reality index mm. real estate is the best performing index yeah. followed by psu banks then i think it's cap goods infrastructure none of these none of the top 5 6 best performing sectors of 23 24 were all laggards of the previous bull market they were not they were not the leaders they were all the laggards wow. of the previous bull market so change like you said a right? complete 
एंड वेन आई लुकड एट द बॉटम एफ एम सी जी निफ्टी फाइनेंस निफ्टी प्राइवेट बैंक प्राइवेट बैंक दे वर एक्चुअली द लीडर्स लीडर्स ऑफ द प्रीवियस बुल मार्केट दे आर द लेगार्ड ऑफ दिस बुल मार्केट तो वन ईयर ऑफ रोटेशन इज है actually ye the birth of this happened in 2022 itself sure it just became very apparent in 23 and early part of 24 theek hai and i believe uh, with all humility that very few investors and professional investment managers have been able to catch this yeah Okay. it shows in the performance yeah it shows in the performance yeah. right because people are still rationalizing uh people still have doubts uh i think this will only accelerate uh post going into the election hmm. and if what everybody expects is going to happen then post elections and obviously the turning point came in august last year when the prime minister again on the uh, uh you know in in lok sabha said a uh, great things about the psu yeah, in yeah, fact he yeah, mocked yeah. people who said that <laughs> jo pehle matlab he also yeah, kind yeah, of articulated yeah, yeah. that people generally are very cynical about investing in psus but he said is bar it's <laughs> going to be different, different yeah. and that's what it has turned out to be so give me your laundry list i mean what are you looking for to in the next year or just maybe 2 3 4 5 years let's not talk about just one year but you know so i i <coughs> look i think i mean you know we've been doing a lot of work internally our portfolios are also changing as i said we also first two years we were a little you know skeptical we were still figuring out covid and revival from covid and how businesses will cope with all of that we 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 didn't just catch to this trend but i think we are very clear now that the the leadership will continue to remain in these sectors right oh okay interesting i think real estate has a long 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 way to go hmm uh capital goods power right uh if our gdp is going to grow and everything is going to be electric right then the intensity the power intensity of our gdp growth is likely to grow hmm. these are all sectors that people have long forgotten um so i think what what is generally called as cyclicals uh, you know a lot of the sectors will come even hotels yep. everything yeah. that was considered to be very capital intensive is all coming back sure. because there was years of under investment in power mining hotels i mean it's 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 crazy that hotel room rates did not keep pace with nominal inflation okay between post the global financial crisis and obviously they took a massive hit during covid hmm. but in the post covid recovery abhi to 1.5 do saal hua hai abhi to yeah. picture baki yeah. hai yeah. so i think uh while people may feel very fearful because many of these stocks from the absolute lows some of them have gone up 2x 3x 4x hmm. but i wouldn't fall into this trap sure i think we are in the early to early mid stages of this new cycle there is a lot ahead of us yeah so if you just look at the composition of the nifty i get that the broad direction that you're giving makes a lot of sense i mean mm. real, real estate for example they go 10 years it went nowhere i i'm not even talking of like the largest players profits i haven't compared it peak to peak but i'm sure you would yes have the um numbers on that forget at a sector level so i don't think it's even close to what it used to be at 2008 so i get that you know that sector itself shrunk completely yes how we talk about the big daddies here you know the ones that are sitting with some 30 40% of total combined market cap of uh the nifty basically your banks and it and you know nbfc and stuff like that and therefore i feel that this time uh if your uh the broader markets will outperform the nifty in this hmm. cycle interesting okay okay to jaise naye race ka naya ghoda hmm new bull market has new leadership while it is true of sectors i also believe that it is true in terms of market caps 
and see what happens is that if you see why does something get into the nifty because it grows well consistently and the market cap keeps growing so i'll give you an example we invested in bajaj finance in 2010 tab market cap was 1400 1500 crores and it compounded for at 40 45% for the for, longest for time, the longest yeah, time. yeah just went on and on and then it finally entered the nifty i think when the market cap was 2 lakh crores yeah. or something like yeah. that right but the ride from 1500 to 2 lakh crores it was not in the nifty correct right now that's a good thing it entered the nifty so the point i'm trying to make is that today some of these sectors like real real estate has i don't think even has any representation in the nifty yeah. right whereas i think at one point of time you had the dlf was part of the nifty so i we did this exercise of sector wise also how the weights were so just to give you at the beginning of the bull cycle in 2003 mm. and i'll just talk about real estate it's very instructive about other sectors the mm. the 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 weightage in the top 800 companies mm. was zero in the market cap okay, okay. zero there was no, almost there nothing. was nothing yeah, there was, was nothing, nothing. Yeah, it didn't exist by the end of that cycle 2008 peak huh. of the market huh. the weight had gone up to 6.9% of wow. the top 800 companies full market cap ka because of dlf unitech yeah, all yeah, these yeah. you know great jp vp jp vp all of that right from a peak of 6.9% by 2019 hmm. the weight went down to 0.6 so 20 matlab almost 20 year back to what it used to be for something as basic as housing which yes okay, okay wow estate. i didn't know that okay or ab 0.6 ka ha we were looking at the numbers just as of very recently we have just gone back to 1.8 not Now even just imagine yeah, if yeah, india yeah. is going to be a 10 trillion economy yeah, yeah market yeah. cap is going to be 10 trillion so much wealth has been created hmm is cycle mein to it can definitely go above the previous peak of 6.8% with new year players also there are some and now you have yeah, yeah. rera ho gaya hai you yeah. have all organized the industry has consolidated and you can see it and you can choose from whatever you want yeah. you got large mid right small right from everything. dlf yeah, yeah, all yeah. the way down yeah, yeah. right very interesting so i think that we are going to see all these sectors uh their market cap is so uh, i mean they are their weight in the index is so small hmm. and the weight of the previous leaders is so heavy hmm. that over a long period of time they will slowly their weight will reduce and their weight will go up yeah just math yeah just math just math yeah okay so i want to end this now with a uh, just your advice or a strategy says there's a listener or viewer out here looking at this and who's entering the market for the very first time you know maybe he's entered the workforce his first salary's come in yeah. sip chalu karna hai etc yeah. i mean you want to just talk to more equities in india like you know if you if you were to summarize this entire conversation so far what would be your message to him i would tell him that we are going to have the best years of india over the next 10 15 20 years and the best way to capitalize on that is to invest in equities because finally what what does equity represent it represents entrepreneurship and the return that the entrepreneur gets by taking risk and building a business when there is an opportunity and this mm. is the only place where a 100 rupee profits is discounted 20 30 40 times multiple milta hai us correct right so let's say if you are a you you are a sole proprietor or you know whatever your earning doesn't get a discounting but you can see ki india mein housing growth hoga india mein uh, gaadiyan bikengi right you need to be a partner with that business and the only way to do it is that by investing yeah right. so i think the earlier you start the better it is yeah. so compounding starts from the day you start investing right so don't get too perturbed about these events 
also i would tell them don't listen to experts like us on <laughs> tv all the time <laughs> okay right but be confident about the country be confident yes no journey is one way 2003 to 2007 ya koi bhi bull market usme do deep correction aaye the there was one in 2004 there was one in 2006 I even tell people forget everything the most ghastly correction which was 2008 when the index fell 55% yeah the BSE right. 500 yeah. was down 55% yeah. Yeah. in three quarters the market was back up that's all it less than a year yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah which is for the purpose of income tax definition long term is one year one year correct yeah income tax definition is one year of long term yeah. right so if you are a long and everybody and anybody who is experienced in the equity markets will tell you that don't come to the markets for investing for 3 months 6 months long term absolutely, 3 5 absolutely. 6 10 yeah. 15 20 years yeah don't get too overly perturbed i think there are two risks one risk is of not participating the other is i tell a lot of my investors that look your your best insurance policy is the quality of the underlying companies that i have invested in right if the quality of the companies that you have invested in are good and reasonable even if there is a crisis the stock prices will come back eventually yeah, yeah. if it happened in 2008 if it happened in covid 2020 if it happened in 2004 when bjp lost hmm. very unexpectedly like was it the end of the world no yeah. so i think invest regularly you may do it through sips if you are a little more evolved investor i would say lump sum is even better than sip sure. or if you want to stagger it stagger it but start start don't wait get into the election yeah. ke baad main dekhunga <laughs> because every 3 months 6 months there is something to look forward to yeah. essentially we are in an uncertain world there is no such thing as complete certainty yeah aur agar complete certainty chahiye to uska bhav dena padega aapko uska Correct. premium dena padega yeah so i think for a first time investor i would say we are going to have the best years sure. and please do invest if you want to take advantage of that fantastic what a positive note to end this this episode on here in our last standard question which we had asked you back then also and that i asked to all my guests is any book that you reading or any content recommendation that you have for our listeners yeah so i mean i i read all kinds of stuff but uh, uh, right now i am reading a book on ai uh, and uh, this is put together by a guy called john brockman okay he runs a site called edge.org okay and they bring some of the finest brains and they ask one question every year one big thing and they get all these contributors to talk about it so i'm reading that but i'm also rereading a book of a gentleman who just passed away uh, daniel kahneman thinking fast, fast and, and slow, slow yeah. right uh, and it kind of reminds me how you know something like investing which has to be a very well thought rational decision we tend to take at the seat of our pants <laughs> right yeah. uh thinking very fast about things so uh, i'm rereading that and i'm reading this book on ai it's a classic you can't go wrong with and there's always new lessons to be learned from mr kahneman's work i think so you know sometimes yeah. i feel that when we first read it we just kind of absorb but you know the context changes then you reread you yeah. find deeper meaning because you are also rich with experience of what you've seen in the markets or in life or whatever and you can right. connect the dots easier and you can connect the dots easier yeah, yeah. so folks that is a wrap on this episode of paisa paisa my guest here and with director and cio alchemy capital management here and thank you so much for dropping by to our, in our studios and doing this for our listeners thank you thank you so much i v m <laughs>